What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at it again for one more. This is the last video coming from Portland, Oregon, man. I'm going to miss being up here, but I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go home, man. I gotta go home. I gotta get these videos edited for you guys. So, hey, do me a favor. If you enjoyed the content from Portland and from Dallas, hit that thumbs up button, man. Subscribe to the channel. I would truly appreciate it. Now, let's jump into this. I haven't shown you any trucks yet. I, I, I don't think I've shown you any trucks. So I figured, well, here we go. We got a 94 Dodge Ram 2500 with the V10. The V10. Now, she needs tires and she needs paint and she needs paint but it's a long bed big honking pickup truck man this is a it's a big truck this is a real big truck i like it i like it a lot and she's got a really big engine a really big i, I can't squeeze myself through there. <laughs> excuse me can't squeeze myself through there guys let's take a look at the interior interiors on these were kind of notorious for falling apart but i'll pay hey, i'll be honest with you this doesn't look bad at all not bad at all she needs a headliner she may have a little juice in the battery the dashboard isn't totally destroyed i mean it's not the greatest but it's not totally destroyed hell let's put a key in it we can get oh it's four by four too uh-oh I don't hear her trying to do anything. Nothing. Not even a click. I like that 4x4 down there, though. Got the cup holders. Overdrive switch. All right. Well, I'll play. I'll play. I don't think the battery's dead, guys. I think she's uh, got an ignition problem here. I guess we'll find out. Here, let's put the key in, and let's see if any of the accessories work. Ah, they dim considerably. Okay. It's even got the Infinity surround system. And it's got an Alpine head unit. Very nice. All right. I'll play. This is a, a Laramie SLT. We may have to throw a little jump on her. Oh, we got some spiders. She's got spiders. Ooh. Look at this bad boy. Eight liters of pure V10 power, baby. Whoo, boy. Wonder what the horsepower and torque ratings are on this. <laughs> Man, she's a monster. All right, let me put a jump pack on here. Uh oh, somebody's been. I'll bet this is the starter solenoid right here. How much you want to bet? It is. That's how you jump start it right there. Watch me do my magic. It's a moment of truth. Got the jump pack hooked up. Obviously, the starter relay is missing. Um, I don't know what happened to it, but without the relay there, yeah, she's not going to start with her key. So what you got to do, is you got to put the key in the ignition. Turn it on. All right. Then you come back out here. And you... <laughs> oh boy, wow. Ugh. She hasn't run in a while, I'm gonna guess. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess she hasn't run in quite a while. She's look at all the spider webs and stuff. She spit all kinds of stuff out of here. Um I don't know if this is listed as a run and drive or not. I'll tell you what, though, she runs like a top. Find that exhaust to see if she's smoking or. She's actually running great. She is running great. No kidding. Another one that I'd buy in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. She's only got 123,000 miles on her, boys. Uh-oh. Does she move? Yeah, she moves. Yeah. Oh, wow. And the brakes work. Oh. 
You've got to be kidding me. Let's see if the air conditioning works. If the AC works, I got to find a way to get this to the house. Got to. <laughs> Keep spitting stuff at me. Yeah, I'm not sure the AC works. The overdrive switch works. What about the important window? I'll be. Yes, it does. Like, everything works on this, guys. Look at this dashboard. The lights work. I hear the compressor. I just heard the compressor kick on. So she might be a tad low on refrigerant. But the AC is trying to work. This is wild. This is wild, guys. She needs tires. She definitely needs a little bit of work. But she doesn't have a ton of miles on her, man. I could do this one. Let's shut her down. Here we got a 99 Toyota Solara, guys. This one is, uh, we're gonna have to double check that odometer, but it says 301,761 miles. And I'm sure it's correct. I was literally just telling the gentleman over here, these things might as well be diesels. They run forever. Toyota did such a good job making these things. I guess they probably, they probably had to stop making them at some point or they'd never sell any. <laughs> you buy one of these and you could drive this for life. Uh, and it's a good looking car. It's a really good looking car. I like the color. And look at this interior. Look at this. She is super, super. There's no way this got 300,000 miles. I, I'm, we're going to have to. We're gonna have to do some some checking here. Let's put the key in and find out. I, I find it very difficult to believe it's got 300,000. Yes, it does. 301,701 miles on the odometer. And the body and interior look great. Listen to that. <laughs> wow. This is crazy. The, uh, the important window works. The, uh, let's see if the air conditioning works. Oh, wow. Okay, the blower definitely works. Do we have any warning lights? Nothing. Now, the e-brake is on, so that's normal. The AC is on. Yes, the AC works. It's got working air conditioning. Wow. So... Normally, I would say a car like this that's this old that looks this good was probably owned by a little old lady that only drove it on Sundays to church, but somebody drove this thing everywhere. And it's been sitting for a little while. You got critters have been in here. You see they've been eating their little acorns and stuff on the engine. Listen to that thing run. I don't see any oil leaking actively from it easy engine to work on you got a timing belt over here tiny little motor mount right there look at this this radiator it's like the size of a credit card it's itty bitty itty bitty the transmission fluid looks good on it get down there battery was replaced somewhere around the end of 2018 the belt still has the clean riding on it. You can see the uh, the letters on the belt there. If yeah, somebody took care of this, somebody took care of this. AC system was serviced at some point. Who knows when that was? I was looking for a timing belt replacement sticker. I don't see one of those, but obviously the timing belt's been replaced at some point because she's still running with 300,000 miles on her. The roughest part of the paint is up top where it's, you know, got a little bit of clear coat peel patches here and there all over honestly that's not that big a deal i don't even think i'd do anything about it a little bit on the trunk as well it's burnt through right here on the spoiler but that's not a big deal something this old with this many miles i honestly clean it up give it a bath wash it drive it it's got good tires too it's got good tires toyos wow wow uh this one's the star Oop. There goes my mic. Watch out. This one's the star of the video today, I think. 300,000 miles on her. Runs like a top. Put it in gear. Yep. Yep, forwards and backwards. And she started up without a jump. And it still has the key fob. Look at that. 
It's got the little key fob with it. Factory Toyota key fob from 1999. This is insane. This is a great car right here. This is an awesome find. So is this little Toyota Tundra right here too. Guys, we're running out of time. They're going to be closing soon. In fact, they're already closed. The fact that, they, that I'm still here is actually kind of cool. I didn't realize that it's gotten so late on us. But we got a, a Toyota Tundra. Or sorry, not a Tundra. A Toyota Tacoma. I think it's like a 99. And we were looking at it thinking, why is this here? It's so clean, right? The body looks good. It's got excellent tires. 03. 03. It's an 03. 03 Toyota Tacoma. And uh, I walked back here and I was like, well... Okay, I see a lot of stuff that makes me think maybe something was stolen, right? Like Milwaukee tools. How about a street sign? All right, there's a street sign back here that I think somebody may have may have picked up. And then we got a, a laser level right here. I'm sure that's not cheap. And that's back there. And then there's a PPI on the back. I think that stands for Portland Police or Portland Police Impound. And I'm like, ah, okay. Now, I hadn't gotten to the interior yet. It's a Toyota Tacoma pre-runner. It's got the V6, four cam. It's got a nice toolbox. And it's got a lot of batteries and there are some power tools in there. So keep that in mind, if you bid on this and win, you get some free stuff. I assume it's, it's uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't even want to get into it, but I'm looking at it and I'm like, wow, this is so nice. And then I got over here and I realized somebody had busted the ignition and it was exactly as I thought. It was a stolen car, stolen car. It may have come with the key. No, I guess that doesn't go to it. I imagine this would be chipped, right? An 03. Uh, I hooked the battery up and we got nothing. No dome lights, no power inside at all. So I think there's, there may be a little something else going on with this one, which is probably why the insurance company was like, nope, nope, we're done. But she's a clean truck, guys. Take a look at that. I'm sure it's going to be some minor electrical thing. I don't think it's a huge deal. If you were to just take the time to spend on it, you could probably get this thing up and running. I, I, I would really think so. It doesn't look like anybody did any real damage or anything under the hood. Everything looks to be intact here. It's clean. In fact, we even have a timing belt service right here. Uh, 0207 of 17 at 99,362 miles. She had a timing belt replacement. And that looks like a fairly easy timing belt to do. I could be wrong. I've never done one. But uh, like I said, we hooked the battery up and we, we got nothing, no juice at all in the cab. But man, look at those tires. I mean, she's got some meat on them tires. I'd be pissed. This is a beautiful truck. And someone stole it and they tore it up. Unfortunately, I can't really show you much more of this one because, well, like I said, it doesn't run. So... We'll see if we can find something else. How about this little gym? A 2001 Honda CRV. Uh, he came out here and found this for me because I told him I like these older cars, man. And this still qualifies as older. She's she's old. She could use a fresh paint job. You can see the, the difference in the paint where it's just sat and the sun has baked off part of it. It's pretty faded there and it's faded up on the roof. No big deal though. I mean, you slap a coat of paint on this, this thing would look almost brand new, man. The body looks to be in great shape, at least on this side. Let's see the other side. Yeah, she's got a little ding on the fender here. No big deal, no big deal. Tiny ding there. It's got a good set of tires, nice wheels. This is clean. This is actually really clean. Oh, it's a theft. Someone stole it and it's got an inverter. Oh boy, somebody ran the wires for the inverter through here. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of tobacco which uh, looks like someone had been dumping tobacco for, uh, you know, other illegal purposes. What a beautiful interior. This thing is actually in really good shape aside from the, uh, aside from the, uh, inst or not the instrument cluster, the, uh, the ignition. Oh, and, and you need a door handle. So be aware of that. Get you a door handle. This looks decent. Someone was obviously really smoking it up in here. They were probably toking it up in here too, judging from what I'm seeing over here. She was in good shape before someone hijacked her. 188,000 miles on the clock. Looks like we got a little got a little key here, but the ignition is totally destroyed on this one. Yeah. Now you may be able to take the key and sometimes you can stick it in the ignition and and kind of Yeah, she's going to need to jump. Let's let's put a Let's put a boost on this. I'll bet it. Is this one a runner? Yeah. yeah? 
Yeah, somebody somebody cracked the ignition on this too, but uh, I think we can get this one to run. Oh wow, that's cute. A little bitty four banger with a time belt. This thing probably runs great. All right, I guarantee this is gonna run. I, I promise you this is gonna run. I know it will. These things are tough as nails, man. They really are. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can reach the uh, reach the ignition here. And <laughs> yes, sir. Got a little check engine light and a brake light. Well, the e-brake is on. There you go. That's it. Just a check engine light and an airbag light. The steering feels good. Power window. Yep. Works. A butterfly. Yep. Check. The butterfly agrees. It's a good car. I'll bet the AC works too. This is this is nice. Excellent tires. And I know what that is. That's the flex pipe under the engine there. I got an exhaust guy back in Oklahoma City fix that for 50 bucks. Well, thanks to my GoPro my GoPro for killing the battery and uh, and dying on me, but we're 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 still here. And she's been sitting here running. I changed out the battery and everything, and she's just sitting here purring like a kitten, man. Yeah, I guarantee you, this is one that you could get in, put just a little bit of work into. I don't know what there's the door handle. Oh, it's got stuff in the back too. You got a motorcycle helmet, and you got a Carhartt jacket. You got some uh, jack stands. Oh, and a torch. Everybody needs a torch, man. I don't know what they were doing with that, but she's got a torch in her too. I actually kind of like that. Well, that helmet's busted. Never mind. It's a good-looking helmet, though. Uh, this is decent, man. Like, oh, jeez, Louise. Uh-oh. No? Now, there must be a window release for it somewhere. Guys, this is probably going to be the last one. Uh, I almost hate it because I'm having so much fun here. They have got more of these older cars than I think anybody that I've ever seen before. This is an old 85 Honda. It's listed as a Civic, but it was a CRX. And I remember this car. I, re I loved this car back in the day. It's so tiny, but it was it was kind of like a little a little ricer car. You know what I mean? Okay, never mind. It is a Honda Civic. I thought this was a CRX. This looks exactly like a CRX, but I guess it's a Civic. And it's, it shows right here a Civic 1500S. So I'm assuming it's a 1500cc motor. And the S stands for super fast. And you know why? Because it's got a stick shift. That's right. This is a manual transmission. Look at those back seats. Look at the little, look at the little stick shift. Little five speed. 269,000 miles on the odometer of this bad boy. This is a... Oh, I'm finding some gems out here, man. Some things that I'm just really enjoying. It's got tires that are like new condition. I didn't realize this was actually a Civic. I really thought this was a uh, a CRX. Can I get the daggum hood open here? There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's pretty right there. Yes, sir. Um, I'm not sure if this one runs or not. I'm not sure at all if this one runs, but I guess it doesn't hurt. It's got keys. Throw a jump on it. Let's find out, man. I'm dying to know. I got the jump pack right here. It only takes a second. I'm telling you, these gentlemen out here have been so cool. Uh, it's 5.30 in the evening. Obviously, not in the morning, but it's 5.30 in the evening. I'm sure... I'm sure uh, normally these people be out of here by now. So the fact that he stayed late with me, you know, it's Oregon. So what happened was it rained on me. You know, it rained all dang morning. So I couldn't get out here until the rain stopped. And uh, I'm lucky I got this much content. And I'm super lucky that they're hanging out and uh, letting us do some additional content. Otherwise, we'd have been out of here. We would have missed this car. We would have missed this beautiful thing right here. Now, she may not run, but I figure it's worth giving her a go. Nope. I'm guessing this one don't do anything. This one doesn't have, this one don't, this one doesn't do anything. Well, I had to try, man. I had to try. Oh, you got a better one? Okay. <laughs> well, we'll skip the, uh, 
Well, let's get the little Civic then. Here is a beautiful, I mean, beautiful 95 Honda Civic with only 99,000 miles. 93? 93,000 miles on the odometer, guys. It's got good tires, itty bitty teeny tiny tires. The body is in great shape. The paint is in really good shape as well. This thing, it's like a time capsule. It's like a time capsule. Now, I would expect, you know, maybe the dash has got some damage from age or something, but no, no, you open the doors on this. Look, I'll show you the back first. Look how beautiful this, I mean, it, it looks new. It looks new. This, I am, I am blown away. I am blown away. These older cars are some of my favorite things in the world to work on, to play with, to buy. And this yard has all of them, man. This yard's got everything. Your Acuras, Hondas, your Toyotas, your pickup truck, your Dodge Rams, like whatever you're looking for, man, this one's got it. This one's got it. I, I'm, I'm loving this. Look at these cup holders, okay? Look at this. This, oh, <laughs> this opens up and there's your cup holders. Okay? Wow. Look at that old tape deck. It's got a quartz clock right there. It is an automatic. And it's got 93,000 miles. And look at that dash. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, the only thing it's missing is a key. I, I promise you this runs. I promise you this runs. You know, you get a key for this. I, I guarantee you this thing could fire up. You could, you could drive it home. You could probably get in this, or not you, me. I could buy this and I could probably get a key for it and drive it back to Oklahoma. With no issue, and I could probably drive to Oklahoma for like 40 bucks. You know what I mean? Like you could probably get a long way in this car for very little money. Look at those struts. Everything is so clean under here. It's just, it's in perfect condition. No leaks that I can see at all. Even the transmission, you can still read the serial numbers, the barcodes, everything is still on all the pieces of this car. It is in phenomenal shape. Another diamond in the rough, guys. This one, this one right here definitely needs to be saved. Somebody needs to take this home. Oh, hell, maybe I will, actually. I, you guys you guys better watch out. I may end up bidding on like six, seven, eight cars out here. I just got to figure out a way for me to get them back to the house. I'm, 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 I'm really liking this Civic. She's a beauty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's getting late, and we're going to have to get out of here. But I do want, what, what's your name, by the way? Kevin. Kevin? Roberts. This is Kevin. He's shown me around his yard out here, man, and, uh, I know you're probably used to going home by now. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> he's he's willing to let me look at some more, but I'm not going to hold him up anymore. Do you know? Have you ever had Rocky's Pizza out here in Battleground? I just moved here. Oh, you just moved here? Okay, remember what I just told you. Rocky's Pizza. If you like pizza, they got this one called the Mary Lou. I don't get out. To, I don't get out to Portland often. It's about once a year. I make it out here, but when I come here, I go straight to Burgerville and to Rocky's Pizza. Uh, I, I wish I knew specifically. All I know is it's in Battleground. Uh, and I don't know where Battleground is from here either. I gotta find my way here in a little bit. Uh, as soon, in fact, as soon as I leave here, I'm going to go find my way to Battleground and I'm going to get Rocky's Pizza. It is that good. It is that good. Um, but I do want to give a big shout out and thank you to everybody here at IA for letting me come out here and explore their yard and take the time. And look at this. First time ever I've been, I've been ridden around in a, a golf cart, man. That was nice. That was nice. They treated me absolutely great here. So thank you to the local people out here at IA. Thank you to to IA Corporate for letting me come out and do this. I appreciate all of you. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, share the video with your friends, please. It's a long way from Oklahoma City to Portland, man. So do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed. Don't forget, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Auto Auction Rebuilds. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I'm looking forward to getting me some pizza. Then I'm going back to Oklahoma City, and I'm going to edit all of these videos so you guys have some great content to watch. I will see you all very, very soon in the next one.